Protesting at military funerals can be a problem when it comes to the freedom of speech because, yes, we are allowed to say what we please, but it has been coming to a conclusion that there are limits to what we can say without getting in trouble. The problem with that is people don't consider what they, what they say can affect people, thinking that they believe that since we have the freedom of speech, we can say as we please. I think that when they wrote the First Amendment, they needed to be more clear on what was considered freedom of speech and what is considered verbal abuse. I chose to explain the topic of protesting military funerals. The specific event that I have chosen to talk about was the Westboro Baptist Church at the funeral of Matthew Schneider. The reason that this event took place was because some people of the Westboro Baptist Church believe that God punishes the homosexuals and the military. So when Lance Corporal Matthew Schneider was killed while serving in Iraq, Fred Phillips and a majority of the church's members went on the protest. Phelps brought posters and signs saying negative comments such as, Thank God for 9-11 and Thank God for Dead Soldiers. Matthew Schneider's father took a serious offense from these posters and protesting and called the authorities prior to the funeral. His father told the authorities that they were planning a picket, whereas people at the church would be trying to convince people not to attend the funeral by protesting. Though he never knew what those signs had said until after the funeral when he watched the news because during the funeral he could only see the tops of the, f- of the posters and not what they said. Following the funeral, Albert Schneider, Matthew Schneider's father, went on to sue Fred Phelps in the church because he claimed the actions of those protesting and picketing caused him severe emotional distress. When Phelps was confronted by the authorities, he went on to say that um, his speech was protected under the First Amendment First Speech Clause, so he saw no reason that he was being confronted by the authorities. The first side was Schneider's side. They believed that the opposing side was doing wrong because it bashed on military personnel who had passed away. It also bashed on homosexuals who were in the military and the church as well as the leader of the whole group, Fred, did not like that. Their purpose was to bring justice to his son and all those personnel who were shamed following their death and hoped to bring peace because of all his emotional distress. Um, The opposing side hated the military because it allowed homosexuals into the military and wanted to bring shame to all those somehow connected to the military. Their purpose was to change other people's beliefs to get them to think about the way they thought about um, <clears throat> how homosexuals should not be in the military and it looked bad. So when both sides went to court, there was a difficult decision on who would be given the benefit of the doubt. As the trial continued, the judge came to the conclusion that though the signs were mostly targeted toward the Snyder family, Um, They also targeted the moral conduct of the U.S. military as well as the homosexuals in the military. That being said, that when they wrote the posters that said, thank God for 9-11 or thank God for dead soldiers, they were bashing not only on Schneider's family, but on every military personnel out there because they did not like the military. They believed that it was... Not a sin, but not right for people to be fighting in a war. Following the finding, the court had gone in favor of the Schneiders and awarded the family $10.9 million for their stress and pain, which was later lowered to $5 million. When the judge gave his statement, he said they really did nothing wrong when it came to the First Amendment because they have the freedom of speech and they're allowed to say what they please. But... The judge also said that the protests are meant for debate, to share your opinion about something, not vicious verbal abuse. So by saying what they said on the posters and what they said during during the protest to the family, it, cons- it is considered verbal abuse because the things they said were directed towards that family. Saying that, the fact that it was verbal abuse is why the judge went in favor of the Schneiders and not the Fred and his church. When the judge went in favor of them, um, Fred and the other people were not happy about it. 
but there was nothing they could do since the judge had already gone in favor and there was no going back.